Hey guys, a few days ago I asked you if you like read mode. As you can see, the community is quite split in its opinion on it, but roughly 55% don't really like it. That's why I want to use this video to show you 5 mods that you can install to make read mode a little bit more balanced and enjoyable. Well, at least for PC players. The first mod, Cathedral in Greed Mode, is really simple and does exactly what its name suggests. Finishing the womb floor will now allow you to enter the beam of light. The mod comes with a total of 55 enemy waves which contain 10 boss waves and 5 nightmare waves. This will give you a bit more variety if you don't want to go to Sheol in every single run. You also have a chance to run into a special boss wave sequence where you fight all 5 harbingers in a row and get rewarded with the 7 seals item. The next mod is also really simple and adds a feature to greed mode that can usually only be found in the regular game mode, planetariums. The planetarium layouts in this mod don't always contain an item pedestal, for balance reasons but they are quite a bit easier to get than normally. Instead of gaining 20% chance for skipping an item room, you only get 15%. However, this counts for both the silver and gold item room for a total of 30% per skip floor. And just like in the regular game mode, you also start with a base 1% chance to get a planetarium on the first floor. Feel free to hold R if you are that kind of player. The third mod in this video is probably the most exciting for most of you. Alt Path in Greed Mode will enable all the Repentance floors that are currently missing here. The Alt floors will be encountered at random, as a replacement for the regular floors. Downpour and Dross, for example, can replace the Caves chapter. However, if you really want to force the issue here, you can also use the Mod Config Menu mod. It is compatible with this mod and allows you to play on the alt floors only. The alt floors will not only be a fresh experience in greed mode, they also come with the usual alt path item rooms that offer a hidden second item choice. Just a quick note here, this mod does not work with the cathedral mod. You sadly have to pick one of them or you will run into bugs or even game crashes in chapter 5. Mod number 4 is the only one of the 5 that doesn't change anything about the gameplay. But it is really awesome either way, it adds greed themed sprites for all bosses. Making this mod probably took ages. It doesn't only add a unique re-sprite for every single greed mode boss, but also for all the regular enemies that are spawned by them. And the craziest thing is, they even made sprites for the alt floor bosses as well. This makes the mod fully compatible with the alt path in greed mode mod. This mod may not change how greed mode plays, but it will certainly make it feel a bit more unique and fresh. You can also use mod config menu to enable the sprites in the regular game mode if you want. The last mod is the most important one when it comes to gameplay. The read mode improved aims to make the whole mode more enjoyable with various small balance changes. This is hard to show in a video, but the most work was put into the enemy waves. There have been tons of them slightly adjusted to be fairer and less overwhelming. Some waves are even removed completely, mainly the pure troll bomb waves that were hated by most players anyway. The boss waves have also been adjusted in a major way. All the bosses will now know their place and don't spawn where they shouldn't. So no basement mega fatty anymore. The biggest rework was put into the otherwise really boring shop floor that only had very few waves. The floor will now feel way more unique with a bigger range of foes. The starting room of the final floor will now have 4 golden chests. They will not be 100% items like on the chest floor, but at least you get some extra goodies. 
The mod also reworked the room before the boss. The waves here are changed in a way that makes it less likely to get unfair hits from spawning bosses. The rest of the mod are major changes to layouts of basically all the special rooms. For example, you can find new shop layouts that are way more interesting. The mod also makes it way more worth it to search for the secret room and check the curse room. Both of them got a good amount of interesting new layouts to find. You will also notice that a lot of the new layouts and enemy waves focus on adding repentance content, which should have been part of greed mode anyway, wouldn't you agree? Greed mode improved is compatible with all the other mods in this video. Combine them however you want and you may find yourself enjoying greed mode again. He's the number one. I think God's favorite son, his flowing rose reached down from hell.